Peter Oku. God is a specialist in settlement. When issues are beyond men, they are not beyond God. What no man can handle, what no man can handle, God has more than 1,000 ways to handle it. When it looks as if that your issue is beyond man, it is time to look up to the one that can handle all things. Scripture says, For by him all things we are made. Visible and invisible. All things we are created for him and by him. The God that created all things know how to settle all things. When they when man said there is no way out. And that God said there is a way out. Why? He said, I will make a way where there is no way. And the I want you to know this. There is no manipulation going on now to stop your settlement that does not have expiring date. When humans have joined forces with evil powers to frustrate your settlement from coming to pass. Scripture said in Psalm 2, and the Lord shall laugh at them in derision. When your enemy is busy working against your unsettlement, God still has the final say. That's why today there has been a covenant day of settlement. God, God has vowed that today that issue will be settled in your favor. Why is it, why is it called a covenant day? It is called a covenant day because someone has agreed with God. That today will not pass him by. Just like Jacob said, I will not let thee go except you bless me. I want to say to you, it does not take 24 hours for your destiny to take a turn around. It does not take 24 hours for an issue to be arrested by the power of God. Before this time, Joseph, jo, Jacob was a crooked man. Though he was in the covenant, but he was the one that started for one night. Scripture called him a swindler. But one day he got to a point he was tired with the kind of life he was living. And that day he said, Lord, today, now me and you, you must settle my matter. I'm tired of living a fake life. But I am not the picture that was that of the blessing that was sworn upon my life. 
Lord said to me today Scripture said My covenant will I not break Nor alter the word that have gone out of my mouth If you mean it that today you will be settled I guarantee you before we enter the month of March You will be among those that will be settled by God How do I know? God will not be more powerful tomorrow than he should be today that's why if you are saying that Lord I must be settled today he cannot say no your, your, your name is not in the file of people that I need to settle today uh, come tomorrow no uh -uh. No, uh -uh. he that cometh to God must believe. And Jesus said, If thou canst believe, if you can believe, thou shalt see. If you can believe, thou shalt see the glory of the Lord. If you can believe, if you can believe, if you can believe, your belief does not require you to have a man. But your belief does not require you to know who will help you. Your belief only requires that God can do it. Your belief requires a trust that God can make a way for me. Your belief requires only God can open this door. Jesus said, If thou canst believe, thou shalt see the glory of the Lord the goodness of the Lord the blessings of the Lord what does it mean to be settled? to be settled means what man cannot do God can do to be settled to be settled by God means that what you are looking for is beyond the hand of man. To be settled by God means man is limited in bringing it to pass. To be settled by God is that this one has passed what man can do. And God said in his word, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? The Bible is a book of settlement. The book of settlement. The book of settlement. Psalm 119 and verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. There is a settled word to settle your matter. There is a settled word to give you that breakthrough job. There is a settled word that will open your family breakthrough. There is a settled word that will open your family lifting. Once that word comes, you too, you will know that this is my own word. 
David said, it is written concerning me in the book. I know you don't know that it is written concerning you in the book. Anything you desire it has been written concerning you in the book it has been written concerning you in the book so discovering what is written concerning your settlement is what sets you on the path of constant settlement when you discover what is written concerning you, there is need for faith. There is need for faith to believe what is written. Because in most cases, if you don't believe what is written, your situation may tend to overshadow what is written. That's why you need to believe what is written more than what is happening. When you believe what is written, you will commonize what is happening. You will despise what is happening. How do I know? Very soon. Very soon. I will not be trekking. Very soon I will be in my own house. That's what you will be saying. You will be picturing yourself where God has ordained you to be. Why? Surely there is an end. Every problem has an end. Every challenge has an aspiring date. Problems are not designed to last forever. They have what we call aspiring dates. Sooner the and I want to say to you whatever is making you feel hopeless today it will expire somebody is not saying amen I say again today it will expire I say again today it will expire for your settlement to take place I want you to know that God is seeing your heart. God cannot settle you when your heart is not with him. Your coming to church is not a proof that your heart is with God. Scripture said when the sons of men gathered, Satan was also present. Your love for God is the gateway to your settlement. 3,000, 4,000 may be in church because it is Sunday. But not all of them have equal love for God. Our love for God is what opens the door for our settlements. No man can see your heart. But God sees your heart whether your love is for him. Or whether you are in church because of what you want to get. Naturally, people pretend to like you because of what they want to get from you. And the moment they get what they want from you, in no distant time they will disappear from you. Do you know why? They have gotten what they are looking for. 
the moment they get what they are looking for the people you thought that their heart was with you they will begin to speak against you they will begin to walk against you that's why God himself said I the Lord such at the heart and I examine the race to reward every man in another place is said to strengthen those hearts whose heart to strengthen those whose hearts are perfect towards him to strengthen them with blessing to strengthen them with favor to strengthen them with progress god sees our hearts so if your love for God is in place God will change your position if your love for God is intact you will never get to any phase of your life and blessing is missing if your love for God is in place you will never get to any position and be on the waiting list one of the laws of love is what we call the law of priority now when you truly love someone whether you like it or not you will favor that person more than any other person whether you are a human or you are a spirit are you hearing what i'm saying huh? whether you are human or whether you are a spirit the, the law of love drives on the law of priority God will favor his own first. People that love you, you favor them first before any other person. Whether you call it partiality or divine partiality, it is all the same. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because even you that I'm seeing here now, you cannot by mistake even favor your enemy. You say, like you cannot. So those that love God, they are the ones He will favor first. That's why for you to secure your settlement for 2018. You need to renew your love for God. Once your love for God is renewed, there is no fear whether you will be settled. There is no fear whether you will be favored. Now, your wife cannot be afraid whether you will settle her. Because when you think of who will be settled, her name comes first in your heart. Scripture says we are the bride of Christ. So if you if you think of who he will settle first, let's look at who he will favor first. Psalm 89 and verse 20. Psalm 89 and verse 20. Let's see how this settlement work. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? Verse 21. With whom my hand shall establish. What does he mean to establish? Studio, don't remove that scripture. Let me say, for example, now, someone has served you. And, and you want him to go and be on his own. They call it a um, settlement ceremony. 
wato ana ce da shi rana ce ta musamman na biyan haki to some people in the east they will pay, they will pay for his shop to kaman akasan mutanen namu they will put goods in the shop zau sai musu shago some they will kaya. they will give him money wasu kuma za ku dize abashi some they will give him car wani ma mota za bayar depending on how you serve duo ya wato ya dangana ne ga yan da kai biyayya ga mai gidanka because they don't settle everybody equally ba wai ko ba wai ana biyan hakkin nan iri da bace some they will even help the person to marry wani ma aka masa aure that is what it means to establish wato shine with whom my hand shall establish when the hand in azek kasance tare da with whom my hand shall establish when the hand in azek ta fa da rayuwa i found david my servant na same dauda bawa na with whom my holy oil ta sarkakken mai na now with whom with my holy oil have i anointed him with whom my hand shall be established my arm also shall strengthen him which means i will make sure he enters the realm of continuous progress he will go from strength to strength now look at the next verse look at the next verse the enemy shall not exert upon him make he balas kasance a bisa kansa no the son of wickedness afflict him ko kuma masu mugunta su mata mugunta su mishi mugunta i will beat down his foes before his face zan bugar da makiyin sa a gabar sa and plague them that hate him sannan zan kawo aloba bisa wanda suna sun ci shi every lover of god ko wace mai maso in anda when men rise up to fight you god pluck them sayin da mutane sun tashi bisa kanka ubangiji allah zai sauko da aloba a kansu that's why i said you shall not need to fight in this battle i the lord will fight for you ya sai ya ce kar ma ku ce za ku yi fada a wannan yake ni zan yake su because you are a lover of god domin kai masoyan allah ne who is a lover of god wane ne masoyan allah someone that is addicted to the advancement of the house of god when the she da murse shi ne cin gaba wan gidar ubangiji everything that touches god touches you abin da ya tabe allah ya tabe everything that moves god moves you abin da ya mosa allah ya mosa shi when you are a lover of god idan kan masoyin allah ne you cannot be on the same spot this every year by yanda zaka kasance a wurin guda you cannot be on the same spot every year ba yanda zaka kasance a wurin guda kowace you be going from blessing to blessing daga albarka zuwa albarka from favor to favor daga taguwar mashi zuwa taguwar mashi increase to increase daga cin gabawa zuwa cin gabawa even in this year of new dawn ko a wannan shekaran sabuwar you will be having you will be having new encounters zaka same gamuwa sababe because the blessing of the lord it make it rich domin albarka ubangiji na tabbatar da aziki and he added no sorrow ba ta kuma kawo bakin ciki so god has already programmed the blessing that we said to you this year allah ya riga ya zaya nan albarka da zai so kuma ka da shi a wannan shekara and if you are a lover of god you will collect your own portion today har kai masoyin allah ne zaka karbi naka a wannan sujada yau Your amen is is looking for trouble. Amen kuna neman balai. I say you will collect your own settlement today. Anche yau za za ku karbe albarkan ku yau. What does it takes to be settled? Menene za ku yi domin a biya ka? Number 1 you must be born again. Na dai shine dole ne a dada a fe ka. If you are not born again you will suffer again. And dan baka karbe almasihu ba wahallan ka ba iyaka. If you are not born again you are you are not under cover. And dan baka karbe Yesu ba ba ka da mafita. You are exposed to the plans of the wicked. Kai fa apili kake ga balai. That's why scripture say if a man be in Christ. Ya sai litabi yace in dan mutum na 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 cikin Kristi. Not if a man be in church. ba wai indan mutum na cikin majami'a ba if a man be in christ not if a man be in church indan mutum na christi ba wai na cikin majami'a ba you can be in church and not be in touch zaka kasance a cikin majami'a kuma ba zaka samu tafuwa ba if a man be in christ he is a new creature indan mutum na cikin yesu sabuwar mutunci all things are passed away and all things are become new 
duk ababe sun shure kuma sofofun ababe sun dawa sababai Christ in you the hope of glory Yesu Kristi a rayuwarka bai gin daukakawa If Christ is in you there is hope for your tomorrow And then Yesu Kristi na jikin ka to akwai bai gina gobe There is hope for your turn around Akwai bai gina juyawa There is hope for your settlement Akwai bai gina biyan diya Scripture said Litafi ma sarki ya fadi He that is joined to the living Yace wanda suna daure da rayayi rayayu There is hope Akwai bai gi For a living dog is better than a dead lion Yace rayayen kare fa tafin even naturally zaki even naturally ko a ko a rayuwa when they see you join with someone that is doing well and da har an ganka tare da wanda yana cin gabawa they say oh this person in life don't change ce oh wannan rayuwan shi kan ya wuta do you know why they are saying so ka san abin da yasa suna fadi haka you are following someone whose life has changed domin kana bi mutun ne wanda rayuwan sa ya canja they say oh in story don't change ce oh rayuwan wannan fa ya canja why me yasa association is contagious wato hada kai association affects hada kai na kawo ina shafe wani because any person you are following whatever is following the person will begin to follow you and duk wanda kake bi abin da ke bi wancin shi ma zai bika if you are following someone that is blessed and then kana bi wanda mai albarka ce that blessing automatically naturally spiritually it will rub off on you wannan albarka tabbace ce yace za ta biyo ka if you are following someone that is cursed and then kana bi wanda aka la'ana naturally spiritually that that cost person the thing that is following him will also rub off on you wanna abin da wato la'ana da ke bi wannan mutun dole ta bika that's why when you are following someone that his life has changed she has a dick sign da kana bi wanda rayuwan sa ya canja that is blessed and people are seeing the blessing wanda ya kasance da albarka kuma ana ganin albarka is it ah man since in don they follow this is man ka ga yana bi wannan watch out very soon now you go come bring one cow batare da da ba zaka gansa da mota watch out very soon things go just turn around for him ba da da ba zaka ga abba bai sun canja masa you can't love god and follow god and end in shame ba yanda zaka kasance masoyin allah sannan ka kasance a cikin kunya because everything that goes with god goes with you domin abin da nabin allah dole ya biyo ka if you are saying amen say better amen koce ami me aminci i remember one of ibio miss pa Natuna da wani matamakin possibility his name is Dan sunan sa Dan anywhere he travels to that's the only person his heart agrees to follow him duk sayin da shi bawon Allah zai tafiya wannan mutun shi kade ne yake so ya biyo sa let me say this now i've not said it before bari in ga wannan ban taba fadi wannan bomba sai yau i ask why you why is he always this person you say ah ya ya kullun wannan ne kawai ke bin ka he said he understands the law of loyalty yace yace wannan shi kade ne ya san hanyar biyaya so if he's traveling to maryland if he's traveling to montreal if he's traveling to houston if his wife is not there dan is there in the har zai tafiya duk inda zai je har in ba matansa da zai bi za ta biyo shi to dole dan ya bi shi if you tell him don't talk dan will never talk in yace ma dan kar ka ce in ba zai ce in ba so it's not this one that they will call Ogade what in they do go check for me ba we we run in the an aka kira shi check me me ogan ka nayi ji ka je ka leka check in laptop what in they do dan we never do that me ke you want dan bai haka he said dan follows me with his heart ye ce dan na bi na ne da zuciyar shi and i bless him with my heart sannan ni kuma in na albarkace shi ne da zuciya any journey i go he has his own esta code ye ce duk da biyan da zani ina da guzurin sa esta code mean he has his own dollars that goes with the travel to guzuri shine kudin da za ba ka na tafiya na ce ciye da lafiya he has his daily spending pocket money ana ba shi kudin sa a juwu na kashewa he has his own he has his own money for buying things for his family you know the kudi man that they say here i think it is good even this one that we went for the birthday dan followed him again i said dan you're here again yet he said how one number is got to be there anyway anywhere he go i go yet he did and the zen they did only she may he once tra transferred him to lagos after some months his heart did not agree he brought him back yet about case i can't 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 i can't
in fact, the, the way Dan is blessed is number two pastor has not been blessed like Dan. When you follow someone with your heart, you don't beg for his blessing. If you follow God from your heart, you don't beg to be blessed. Why? Because in his list of priority, your name is there. Your name must be among the first five. Your name must be among the first ten. Your name must be among the first ten. <laughs> Why he sees your heart? Scripture to say heart answered to heart. God sees our hearts. If truly we love Him from our hearts, we will follow Him with our hearts. You shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with the whole of your heart. What does it take to be settled? Number two, to be settled down in the church. Say with me the church. The church is the place where our blessing is located. When God prepares a blessing for you, He knows where to send you to. Your settlement cannot take place until you enter the right place. It is only in the right place that your settlement can take place. So when you enter your right place, your settlement takes place. Why? Because in every place there is a prophet and there is a pastor. The pastor that carries your blessing, that is where God will send you to. So when you enter there, the help ordained of God for you answers to you. And then how the mysterious battles that have been contending against your settlement, they bow to you. Why? Because you are in your right place. In Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. You can't be in your right place and miss your right blessing. No wonder David said, I was glad when they say, Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. A day I spend in your court is more than a thousand years outside. I, I rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I was glad when they say, Come, let us go to the house of God. Every time you are in the house of God, blessings are added to your life. Blessings are added to your life. Blessings are added to your destiny. That is why you must settle down. Settle, settle down, settle down here. Because your blessing must meet you here. Maybe you don't know. What happens to you here is what determines what happened to you outside. When blessings are released upon you spiritually, they determine what happened to you outside physically. 
haka ne ma zai same kamar in a waje da kake no one that people that place value on zion they are the ones that flourish outside wanda sun girma ma siona su ne za su kasance a walwala a waje number 3 settle down with the word settle down with the word kan su da ayar ubangiji nothing settles a man in life like the word of god ba bande zai biya ka kamar ayar ubangiji The word of God has been tried seven times by fire. Ayar ubangiji an gwada ta san bakwai da wuta. So every time you engage the word, whatever is fighting your settlement, they bow to the word. Duk sayen da kai amfani da ayar ubangiji, abin da na yake rayuwar ka za ta durkusa ga ayar ubangiji. You triumph over enemy of your settlement by the word. Za ka yi nasara bisa makiyin biyan biyan ka diya. You, you crush every opposition to your settlement by the word. Zaka rusa ko menene da na so hana ka biyan ka ta ayar ubangiji. Jeremiah 23 and verse 29 is not my word like hammer. Yace aya na ba kaman hama take ba. And like fire that break the rocks into pieces. Kuma ba kaman wuta ba da yana da yana rusa zuwa su. Every time you engage the wall. Duk sayen da kai amfani da ayar ubangiji. The walls of limitation. Wato bangon iyaka. The walls of resistance. Bangon ke ya. Fighting your settlements. When the suna ya ke biyar ka. They bow to the walls. Dole su durkusa ga aya. Jesus said these words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life. Yes Christ ya ce aya da nake fada muku ba ruhu ne kuma rai ce. Every time the word goes on a mission for your settlement it must come back with an answer. Duk sayen da aka aka sake aya saboda biyan diyan ka dole ne ya dawo da answer. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void. I can't think the top to the gabaki na harin ta fita ba za ta dawo haka ba sai ta aikata abinda na aike ta. The word cannot come back and say Lord that place you send me to is too strong. Aya ubangiji ba za ta dawo ga ubangiji ce nan inda ka aike ni fa ta fi karfi na ba. The word crushes barriers. Aya ubangiji na rusa iyaka. The word has a killing power against any strong man. Aya ubangiji mai kisa ne. Whoever is a strong man that say that you will not be settled. Ko wane gaggare me mutun da yace ba yanda zai a biya ka. God said I kill and I make alive. Ubangiji Allah yace in na kan kashe na na kan kuma mai da rai. In him was the word and the word was with God. Yace gare shi ne aya kuma aya ga and the word dwells among us sannan kuma ayar sa ya kasance tare da mu if you can trust the word if you can trust the word and dan har zaka yi da da ayar ubangiji you cannot miss your settlements ba yanda zaka yi kan rasa biya if you can trust the word har ka yi da da maganar allah your settlement must manifest so ne ne biyan ka ta kasance if you can trust the word har in zaka yi da da maganar allah anything fighting your settlement they will be scattered duk abin da ne yake biyar diyar ka dole su lallace su rusa number 4 ta hudu you must engage sacrifice dole ne kai hadaya sacrifice is a platform hadaya hanya ce where settlement is sealed wato hadaya hanya ce wanda biya tabbaceciyar ce i know you can pray and fast to ya san zaka yi addu'a da azumi but every time you go with sacrifice you settle the battle amma duk sayen da zaka je da hadaya to What, what settles the battle in your favor is your sacrifice what to abin da zai biya maka haki shine hadaya whatever is contending with your settlement is only requiring a sacrifice abin da na jayeya ga biyan hakin ka ila bidan hadaya ne the altar of sacrifice is the altar of control bagadin bagadin hadaya bagadi ne ta wanda 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 ya kan juya komai the altar of sacrifice is what determines what happens to man's life per time bagadin hadaya bagadi ne wanda shine zai zaya na rayuwar mutum so when you give sacrifice you are determining what will happen next in da har ka ba da hadaya kai ne zaka tabbatar da abun da zai faru gaba when you give sacrifice you have lifted up a standard against every enemy in da har ka ba da hadaya ka daga ne wata kai katanga wanda zai raba ka da makiyinka what's the enemy that is telling you bless bless you in his mouth and in his heart is saying i curse you 
When you give sacrifice, gangops fail. Manipulations fail. When you give sacrifice, both the heavenly hosts and God Himself rise up for your settlement. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, He said, We were like them that dream. Hear me. Do you want to see your next level of settlement? Don't play with your sacrifice. Anything can fail, but sacrifice cannot fail. I, I remember one sister that was believing God for a change in her job. Where she was working before, no promotion was coming again. So the new job she was desiring, she began to pay the tithe of the new job. Title, not sacrifice. She did it the first time, did it the second time, did it the third time. The next thing she wired the sacrifice. Nahudu without any knowing any big name they called her for the job that was how her position changed there was another one they gave a dangerous tax in Abuja. she was a banker they gave her an outrageous target they just gave her one outrageous target. And that kind of target, you need to know some senators. You need to know some heavy billionaires. Do you know what she did? She just packaged a sacrifice. She went and looked for Bishop Abiyah. She didn't find Bishop Abiyah. She just came to the altar and prayed and went and dropped the sacrifice. Mysteriously, miraculously, God started connecting her. The connection was too strong. Before it was one year, she has already exceeded her target. It can only be by God. When they found out that she has exceeded her target, they didn't only confirm her, they promoted her. They just promoted her. I want to let you know, your era of struggle is over. And lastly, believe the Lord thy God, and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophets, so shall thou prosper. So shall thou prosper. So shall thou prosper. Your prophet determines your profits. Your prophet determines your next face. Your prophet determines your next open door. If you are not growing in blessing, you don't believe your prophet enough. You only have fear for him, but you don't believe him enough. Your prophet determines your spiritual climate. Your prophet also determines your favor. Your prophet determines your oil. People that believe their prophets, as they are growing in blessing, you too you are following.
As they are shifting clouds spiritually, you too, you are shifting clouds. As doors are opening for them, doors are opening for you. So, <laughs> like Papa said, your prophet does not beg you to believe him. It's your choice to believe or not to believe him. Your prophet, does, your prophet does not force you to accept him. There were other 50 sons of the prophet that didn't believe their prophets. And they were telling Elijah, your master will soon go. Your master will soon go. But after the mantle dropped, we did not hear of them again till Jesus come. They expire like a like wasted tire. The cheapest way to expire is to be profitless. You can never, I quote, you can never go far in the journey of life without a prophet. Please quote me anywhere. You can never go far in life without a prophet. Scripture says, by a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. If you must be brought out of your present predicament and challenge, you need a prophet that you believe. Then arose the prophets and they were helping them. People that believe their prophets, they make progress. They enter new face of blessings. Everyone here, not everyone here. Who believes their prophets? I say it like I've been saying it before. Before my assignment here will be over. You will see it upon them inside out that their story has changed completely. In this covenant day of settlement, I say to someone that I am sent to, before this week will be over, evidence of your settlement will begin to manifest. And Evidence of your settlement will begin to manifest. Good news of your settlement will begin to locate you. Whatever is fighting your settlement, they will begin to expire. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Rise up to your feet now. Your mouth attracts blessings or your mouth attracts sufferings. He said, I give you a mouth which your adversary will not be able to resist nor can say. No devil can stop your settlement when you call for it. What do you want God to say to you? What do you want God to say to you? Jesus said, He that have you not asked me anything? He said, ask now and it shall be granted to you by my father. Meaning all the things you have been asking since is not big enough. It's not good enough. He said, ask now. Now to him that is able to do exceeding Above, above all that we ask or think. 
There is nothing you ask now that God cannot do. What men say is impossible. I want you to ask for that particular thing. Jesus said, if thou canst believe, thou shalt see the glory of the Lord. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to God. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to God. Lera monde le rushi keto raria. Jikosa eka tona li yamba. We maker. Story changer. Door opener. Do for me what no man can do for me. Kaimu na abanda mo tembe zeya imuba. Give me what I cannot give myself. Concerning my family, do for me what no man can do for me. Give me what no man can give to me. Jesus. Yes. Settlement is in your hand. Settle my family. Settle my children. Settle my career. Settle my business. Settle my new dawn. Spiritually, settle my new dawn. Family wise, settle my new dawn. Financially, settle my new dawn. Let your hand of intervention prevail for me. Father, break protocols and settle my new dawn. Whoever is connected to my settlement blessing, three hours from now, let them not rest until the blessings are surrendered. Three hours from now, I will receive a breakthrough call. Three hours from now, the money I am expecting will be in my hand. Three hours from now, turn around decisions in my favor. Three hours from now, any devil, any witch, any evil personality fighting my settlement, fighting the settlement of my wife. Fighting the settlement of my children. Fighting the settlement of every member of this church. I prophesy against them. Let them swell up and die. Let them swell up and die. Let them swell up and die. You are the one that opens and no man can close. You cannot use the key of settlements against me. What Whatever is resisting my settlement, whatever is contending with my settlement, let them be broken in pieces. 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 So shall it be. This is the confidence we have in Him. Anytime we pray according to His will, He hears us. I want to say to someone three hours from now, please look at the time. Three hours from now. Three hours from now. I didn't say 30 hours. I didn't say 13 hours. I didn't say three days. I didn't say three months. Three hours from now, someone will get a good news. Someone will experience an intervention. Protocols will be broken for someone. Whatever is fighting your settlement, three hours from now, the hand of God will expose the enemy. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen.
If you are saying amen, say better amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. All eyes closed, all heads bow. You are here, you are not born again. But you want to make it right with Jesus. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest. And say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus. I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. You pray this prayer with me wherever you are. Carry your bag and your Bible and come forward quickly. I want to pray with you just come right now I want to pray with you you pray this prayer with me just come right now I want to pray with you if you are coming come quickly